Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Trace again with uh, TNM Diecast Reviews. Today we have a uh, Maisto 118 scale Shelby Series 1 car. Um, this car is uh, Maisto's version of the uh, Shelby, uh, Carroll Shelby uh, Series 1 car. It's made uh, strictly by his company called uh, Shelby America. I believe all these cars were made in 1999. Uh, good looking cars and a nice uh, my fire engine red with white stripes. Got this at Sam's Club a year ago. They also carried in a blue with white stripes. Uh, pretty decent looking car. It's got a few flaws, but uh, don't uh, most cars, uh, most bargain cars do uh, anyway. So. But uh, you know, I'll tell you a little more about the car as we do the review. We'll start off in the front. And uh, you can see, try to keep the camera off the table here. There's your headlight detail. Like I said, it's uh, made off a 1999 car. So it's uh, you don't have the high intensity uh, headlights like we have nowadays. Probably just halogen bulbs. You got a nice uh, turn signal there on your fog light. Pigs behind your fog light. That's probably the easiest way for Maisto to uh, put um, headlights in these cars. Um, you got a nice open area here for your air intake. Probably for your uh, transmission cooler and everything. Yeah, you can see it right there. No has no grill. Look at that. The side profile. In the car. You got them shark fin heat extracting gills on the side there. They do uh they do move a little bit. But uh yeah. There's nothing behind them, so they did they are open. And your wheels. They're pretty they did a fairly decent job on this car as far as details are. You have your Shelby um, emblem there in the middle of the wheel. I should say it's, uh, it's a CS for uh, S. Well, I guess that's Shelby series. Yeah. Uh, all four wheels turn freely. And for some weird reason, this one has a rotor behind the wheel that turns with the wheel. You don't see the caliper or nothing, but you do see the rotor. The back wheel's also. Awesome. Wheels spin really well. The doors and the hood open. There's no trunk that opens on this car. That plate came on the car. exhaust Here's your brake light and your turn signal light little pegs in the middle of them it's not bad though it's not overpowering There's your backup lights just little chrome pieces everything's done very well this uh, car comes with bore, a Borla exhaust that's who did the exhaust for this car on Carol Shelby build up there. Um, good looking car, nice lines. I know one of these cars went for auction. Uh, Meacham Auto Auction. 80 grand. Uh, these cars have a 50-50 weight distribution. These cars only weigh 2,650 2, pounds. Um, they were powered by an Oldsmobile V8, Aurora V8. You know the Shelby car, he used a lot of GM parts in it and for the time were I guess more abundant and probably easier to replace or anything, but uh, they're probably, probably uh, cost efficient also. Uh, really available. Um, come with an Aurora V8 in it. 
they call it the baby North Star because it was a 32 valve uh, North Star dual overhead cam V8 uh, well, kind of like the North Star V8 it was Aurora Oldsmobile V8 um, 320 horsepower and um, I think it had around 460 foot pounds. Don't quote me on it. Um, you can get a lot of your a lot of information about this car, real good information about this car from uh, Saab Cal, Saab Kyle 04 on YouTube. He has a lot of information about cars on there. And that's where I got most of my information about this car. Uh, I chose this one because I like the red and white better than the blue and white. There's your underside of your car. I still, like I said, did a real good job on this car. But there's a, a few flaws, and I will show them to you. Of course, you know this car's put together with screws. So if you wanted to take it apart and try to fix what's wrong with it, you could do so. Or if you wanted to do any upgrades, you could. As I said, there's your Borla exhaust. And as you can see, you can see the motor and the transmission through it. You see right down through it. It's not a plastic piece like most Maestro cars are, as far as the motor is concerned. The hood, the hood won't stay up. Now that's just my car. I don't know if it will be on your car or not. Like I said, I bought it from Sands Club, paid about 15 bucks for it. I think these cars are going for like $35, $40 on the internet without shipping. So, yeah, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent investment. But yeah, there's plenty of depth to this car. As you can see, this motor moves back and forth. Uh, the engine cover there is signed by Shelby, uh, Carol Shelby. Uh, I believe these cars were only made back in 1999. If your research finds it out different, you can post it in the comments. Uh, and only 249 units were made. has a uh, real nice monsoon sound system in it. Uh, there's your Shelby emblem on the steering wheel. Did a good job on that. Let's see, me being a convertible, I haven't seen these in any other way. But this uh, convertible top did a good job on the instrumentation. Car has a top speed of 170 miles an hour. That is verified. So. Very nice car. Those speakers are supposed to be black. There's a little pod vents there. And I do believe each car is um, signed by Shelby, uh, Carol Shelby, and they're also numbered as for what number they are in the production. I can't tell. You know, magnifying glass, I guess. Find out what one this is. What this represents, rather. There's your other door. It opens. The speaker. And no carpet, of course, in this car. And you can tell the typical 90s seating. They got nice bolstering on each side of the seats and everything. Dual seat belts, and you have the Carroll Shelby signature on the backs of the seats. Very nice car. Now the flaws that I think that are in this car, this is my particular model. I don't know if the, yours will be the same. Of course, the hood doesn't stay up. And the doors. My doors are really, you can see there that they're really, uh, Really, really loose. Now, when you try to, when you close them by hand, they do come up and have decent lines on them. But they're not like the typical mice style where you get them so far they get a little spring in them and they close on their own. You have to physically close these doors. And if you shake it a little bit, the doors will start to open. Pass their side door. to close them. They're really loose either. 
I don't know if there's a way you can tighten them or not. Maybe there's somebody that's watching that, that'll uh, know how to do that. So, but that's going to do it for the review of this car. Again, it's a Maestro 118. Shelby Series 1. Car comes in a blue and white also. It may come in black and white. I haven't looked that far into it, but I have seen the blue and white and the red and white at Sam's. I'm pretty sure Costco is going to carry them too. So if you like this car and want to add it to your collection, I think it would be a good addition. Um, the front wheel does steer. The front wheel does steer the wheels. I'm not sure I can lift this up by one hand or not. Yeah, the steering wheel does steer the front wheels. And as far as suspension, I'm not, I haven't, I can't see any springs in there. I don't think it has all that much. It's probably the plastic flexing. But that's going to do it for this review, everybody. It's uh, Maestro's version of the 1999 Shelby Series 1. Uh, so think about purchasing it. It's a nice car to display. All right, well, that's going to do it, and then we'll, we will talk to you soon, and hope to see you in the next video. Keep on watching. There's more to come. Thanks so much, and have a great one.